Welcome to Bangalore School of Banking. This is Sachidan Andrath here. As usual, in today's discussion, I'll be going with one of the confusing sections in reasoning that is the syllogisms. Now, after this discussion, you will come to know that this confusing section has become the most interesting section for you. So I will just introduce you what a syllogism is. This part of reasoning deals with questions like this that you will be given some statements like some dogs are cats, all cats are horses. Then there will be conclusions like all dogs are horses, some dogs are horses, some horses are not dogs and so on. Normally, books follow the process like this. Some dogs are cats, they make uh, circles. All This is your dog, this is your uh, cat. All cats are horses, probably this should be cat and this should be horse and that way they relate and so on. Trust me, before you draw the circles, my answers are there in my mouth. As I told in the beginning, that syllogisms, do not, I mean reasonings do not require any knowledge. It doesn't require any education. So what I do over here is see this some dogs are cats all cats are dogs. There's no point of thinking how dogs can become cats and so on or in mind also I do not have to think some dogs are cats so all cats are horses how they are related. That's wasted of time and energy because by our argument something may be true but as far as reasoning is concerned, as far as mathematical logic is concerned, we can't argue. So what I do here is I just cancel of these cats and cats like that. So I'm left with dogs and horses. So cats are gone off the picture. Now here is something like sum plus all is sum. So my conclusion that I'm left with is some dogs are horses. So I'll just search for that. Some dogs are horses. This the conclusion that is correct. These two are wrong. Over. So just remember this data that I'll suggest you to write it down. That all plus all is all. All plus no is no. All plus some is no conclusion. Some plus all is some. Some plus some is no conclusion. Some plus no is some not. No plus no is no conclusion. No plus all is some not reversed. No plus some is some not reversed. The some not and some not reversed are also damn easy. I'm going to discuss first this one. Now all dogs are cats. Some cats are elephants. So as usual, I'll cancel these cats. These are gone. So all I'm left with dogs and elephants and all plus some as I showed in the chart that all plus some is no conclusion. So what it means is this question is something that I can't have any relationship between dogs and elephants. Dogs and elephants. So nothing is possible. Gone. All conclusions are wrong. Here I go with next question. If I have some pens or books, no book is a pencil. So I will cancel books and book and books. Some plus no is some not. Some not basically means some a or not b. That's it. This is basically some 
and a not. So what it means is my conclusion is some pens are not pencils. That's it. So some pens are not pencils. This is the only conclusion correct. I'm telling you everything else. Whatever is there is wrong. You do not have to see them also. Here I go with the next that no pen is a book. All books are, are boxes. So I will cancel these two. So I'm left with pen and boxes. Now no plus all is somewhat reversed. This sounds tough, but it's easy. That I can I'll just tell you what some not was. Some not was some A are not B. Now if this is A, this is B, some not basically means some A are not B. This is your some not. Now some not reverse means some B are not A. That's all. So here I go. Some not reversed. So some boxes are not pens. So some boxes are not pens. This is the only conclusion correct. All others are wrong. So this section is so much so easy and this is a mandatory section in a bank paper. Normally it comes for 5 marks minimum. It goes even to 10 marks. I'm, I'm telling you, you can do the questions in seconds. Please join me in my next video on syllogisms where you can get some more practice and you'll find that things are really easier. Thanks for watching.